Welcome back, everyone, to another recap and review of the Samurai Turned Pretty Season 2. In this episode, titled Love Sick, we witness some intense moments between Belly, Conrad, and Jeremiah as they navigate through their complicated emotions. The episode begins with Belly reflecting on her recent time spent with Conrad at her house. Their conversation revolves around their upcoming prom, but Conrad reveals his concerns about Susanna's deteriorating health. Belly starts feeling a sense of distance between them. On prom night, Conrad forgets Belly's corsage, leaving her as the only one without it. She understands that Conrad is preoccupied with Susanna's health, but he feels guilty nonetheless. During the dance, Belly notices Conrad's forced behavior on the dance floor. Eventually, he suggests skipping the prom, but Belly is reluctant to do so. Later, Conrad informs Belly that he's returning to college because he fears ruining her night. They have a heated argument outside, leading Belly to believe that their relationship is over. In a moment of finality, Belly gives Conrad the infinity necklace and leaves. To her dismay, she finds Conrad has left in his car when she returns inside. Months later, Belly and her family receive news of Susanna's passing. At the funeral, Conrad appears disheveled, while Jeremiah breaks down in tears. As a tribute to his late mother, Conrad surprises everyone by singing a song and playing the guitar, an unexpected sight of him. Belly makes a promise to be there for Conrad no matter what. She tries to communicate with Jeremiah, but he seems distant. Furthermore, Belly's choice of dress leads to a scolding from Laurel, her mother. Feeling betrayed, Belly storms out of the room after witnessing Conrad resting on the lap of a female friend. Conrad follows her, causing a scene among the guests. In present day, Conrad opens up to Jeremiah about the impending sale of the beach house, which holds sentimental value to their family. He expresses his desire to handle the situation independently, acknowledging their mother's love for the house. Conrad informs Belly and Jeremiah that their Aunt Julia, Susanna's half-sister, is the one selling the property. According to Conrad, their father, Adam, did not have the financial means to purchase it. This news causes an argument between the two brothers. Belly realizes how much she misses Susanna's presence at the beach house, especially during this uncertain time. Seeking solace, she goes for a swim and finds Conrad sitting by the pool. Their conversation is filled with tension and unease. The following morning, Conrad shares that Aunt Julia will be visiting to finalize the sale that summer, potentially marking their last summer at Cousins Beach. Jeremiah urges Belly to talk to Conrad, recognizing that she's the only one who can get through to him. However, Belly reveals that things have changed between them. She reminisces about how summers at the beach house were vastly different when Susanna was alive. Meanwhile, Stephen, Belly's brother, asks his friend Taylor to accompany him to Cousin's Beach, hoping to support Belly during this challenging time. However, he lies to his mother about Belly's whereabouts, claiming she is still at Taylor's place. Stephen contacts Taylor to inform her of his plans and she offers to join him and help pack her sister's belongings. Belly and Jeremiah go grocery shopping in an attempt to find Aunt Julia. Jeremiah plans to charm her into reconsidering the sale, mentioning that Julia and Susanna were not close and hadn't seen each other for a decade. Belly reminds Jeremiah how Conrad tends to push people away when he needs them the most. Jeremiah fears that people will grow tired of Conrad's behavior leaving him alone. Eventually, they locate Julia in her hotel room. However, Julia reveals that she had already started the process of selling the house, and the decision is final. On their way back, Jeremiah is devastated and believes it was Conrad's responsibility to discuss the matter with their father. Belly advises Jeremiah to mend things with Conrad so they can present a united front and persuade their father to buy the house. Meanwhile, Stephen notices Taylor arguing with Milo through text messages. Taylor discloses that their previous summer's kiss meant nothing to her. 
she confronts Stephen about belittling Milo for not going to college and accuses him of humiliating her sister in front of everyone. Back at the beach house, Jeremiah approaches Conrad, urging him to unite against their father to save the house. Conrad agrees to accept Jeremiah's help. Simultaneously, Stephen finally opens up to Taylor about feeling guilty for being excited about college while dealing with Susanna's death. He clarifies that he never intended to be a neglectful brother to Belly, he simply wanted to live his own life. Stephen confesses that he lied to Taylor about being invited to the beach, as he wanted to be there because he missed his friends. Taylor acknowledges that the Fisher boys missed him just as much as he missed them. Later that day, Belly and the boys receive a call from Adam, their father, informing them that there's no money left in the trust fund. Adam admits he knew about the house being put up for sale since Susanna's funeral but was legally unable to do anything since Julia was now the sole owner. Conrad is furious with Adam's betrayal, arguing that their father never cared about Susanna. The call leaves all three siblings upset, but Stephen and Taylor arrive as a surprise. Jeremiah shares the news about the house, shocking Stephen. In the evening, Conrad and Jeremiah sit on the porch, discussing their plans to prevent the sale of the beach house. Conrad expresses his gratitude to Jeremiah for being there when he confronted their father. He assures Jeremiah that he won't give up on the house and suggests they work together to convince Aunt Julia not to sell. Later that night, Belly has a conversation with Conrad, thanking him for being there for her. She joins Taylor and the boys in the living room, contemplating how to ensure their summer house remains theirs forever. As they watch a movie together, Conrad receives a text message that causes him to slip out and head to the beach. Stephen follows and discovers Conrad having a panic attack. The episode ends with Conrad passing out on the beach. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Samurai Turned Pretty Season 2. It seems like the tensions and emotions are reaching new heights, and the fate of the beach house hangs in the balance. Will Conrad and Jeremiah succeed in their mission? We'll have to wait for the next episode to find out. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.